Praise be Jesus and Mary. St. Francis de Sales once said that lips speak to the ears, but heart speaks to heart. That famous phrase, cor ad cor loquitur, was later taken by, chosen by St. John Henry Newman as his motto. And this is the greater reality of divine revelation, that God speaks to us. But God speaks not only to the ears, but also, and most importantly, to our hearts. In today's gospel, to the question, what is the greatest commandment? Our Lord responds by referring to the most well-known passage in the entire Old Testament, the so-called Shema. This is uh, the Shema we, we find in Deuteronomy chapter 6. And Moses gave these words to the people of Israel at the end of the exodus from Egypt. And it's called the Shema from the first word, hear. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart. This is the Shema, and the Jews would, would often pray this prayer. How does one love God with one's heart, soul, and might? According to the Shema, by writing God's words upon one's heart. So in the Gospel, this is what our, Lord's, our Lord quotes, the Shema. But if you read it carefully, go back to the Gospel, our Lord actually adds a new command. So if you read it carefully, our Lord says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. With all your mind. This is very important. The prayer of the mind is what we call meditation. The lips speak to the ears, but heart speaks to heart. St. Ambrose would say, when we pray, we speak to God. When we read or meditate, God speaks to us. One of the great means to grow in love of God and to have his words written upon our hearts is to practice faithfully the prayer of meditation. Prayer, as the great doctor of prayer, St. Teresa of Avila, would define it, is nothing else than an intimate sharing between friends. It means taking time frequently to be alone with him who we know loves us. What a beautiful definition from the great doctor of prayer, and this is actually found in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, an intimate sharing between friends, taking time frequently to be alone with him who we know loves us. So the basic commitment, especially for the prayer of meditation, is to carve out time in our day to actually do it. How much time should we set aside? Listen to what St. Francis de Sales says. Every one of us needs half an hour of meditation, except when we are busy. Then we need an hour. Let me read that again. St. Francis de Sales says, every one of us needs at least half an hour of meditation, except when we are busy. Then we need an hour. What a genius. It makes complete sense, right? The more weight we need to carry, the more strength we need. Have you ever heard of anyone dying of starvation because he didn't have time to eat? Absolutely not, right? It's, it's a matter of prioritizing our time, our time. We make time for things that are important. 
And if meditation is truly a priority, it is only natural that we will make time to spend time with He whom we know loves us. Father, how am I, how am I to find an hour of prayer or meditation? If you just cut back social media, surfing the internet, perhaps you will have two hours, right? Again, it's about prioritizing our life of prayer. Where our time is, our hearts are also, our, our hearts are, are also there, right? So God speaks to our heart. We need to open our hearts, especially in meditation. May, I, may Our Lady, we, let's ask Our Lady for this grace. Let us make time to meditate, just like Our Lady, pondering things in our hearts. We need the light of the Holy Spirit to know the mysteries of faith and to delve into those great mysteries. That is a grace that comes from the Holy Spirit. So let's ask Our Lady to, for that grace to understand more and more what St. Paul calls the height and the depth, the length and the width of the love of Christ that Christ has for each and every one of us. Praise be Jesus and Mary.